job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <clears throat> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without its costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> Uh, but hey, you have life, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would call the system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the frame mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
he ever repair the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. But like I said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned it to be more kid-friendly instead of in Kid's Cove. Uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know? But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together in every shift. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left him in some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh, hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to eat your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening until close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Okay, you get the hang of it. Okay, so uh, just to update you, uh, there's been somewhat of an investigation going on. Uh, we may end up having to close for a few days. I don't know. Uh, I want to emphasize, though, that it's really just a precaution. Uh, Badbury Entertainment denies any wrongdoing. These things happen sometimes. Uh, it'll all get sorted out in a few days. Just keep an eye on things, and I'll keep you posted. Uh, just as a side note, though, uh, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronics side if you can. Uh, someone may have tampered with their facial recognition systems. We're not sure. But the characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. They interact with the kids just fine, but when they encounter an adult, they just stare. Uh, anyway, hang tight, it will all pass. Good night.
a close eye on things tonight, okay? Uh, from what I understand, the building is on lockdown, and no one is allowed in or out, you know, especially concerning any previous employees. Um, when we get it all sorted out, we may move into the day shift, if the business became available. Uh, we don't have a replacement for your shift yet, but we're working on it. Uh, we're going to try to contact the original restaurant owner. Uh, I think the name of the place was Red Bear's Family Diner or something like that. It's closed for years, though. I doubt we'll be able to track anybody down. Uh, so just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Good night.
room there. Didn't you get the memo? The place is closed down, at least for a while. Someone used one of the suits. We had a spare in the back, a yellow one. Someone used it. Now none of them are acting right. Listen, just finish your shift. It's safer than trying to leave in the middle of the night. Uh, we have one more event scheduled for tomorrow, a birthday. You'll be on day shift. Wear your uniform. Stay close to the animatronics. Make sure they don't hurt anyone, okay? Uh, for now, just make it through the night. Uh, when the place eventually opens again, I'll probably take a night shift myself. Okay, good night and good luck.